Tēnā koutou, ārā nō koutou e mā takitaki mai e whakarunga mai nei, ārā ko ai tēnei, ārā e uri a hau nō te pāna ape nei te whakatohia, pika atiki tōku maunga tapu ko tarana ki tērā, huri nō tōku maunga ōku hapu ōki iwi, anō hoki koe nā ki e tōku kaipō. Ko te kaupapa o tēnei rangi, ara anō hoki ko te ukaipo. Nō reira ko te o ai ke moto kui ngoa. Ukaipo. The motherland. That's what it refers to. It refers to our links through whakapapa. Nā kei reira ki e hoki tō ku whenua e takoto mai ana ara ko te after birth, my after birth, so back, going back to what the motherland means to me, it's really quite significant in terms of who I am, in terms of my whakapapa links, and in terms of where the after birth lies. In days gone by, our, our people used to place the afterbirth either in one of the one of the native rako whether that would have been a butukawa, a kauri or any of the natives that were um, growing on the whenua. Uh, today many of that, a lot of that shikaranga has been lost and I suppose again when we think about that when many of our, our people were born away from the hospital, they were born at home. They gave birth at home. And so the afterbirth was taken and planted either in the tree or in the ground. Uh, later on, when you had to go to hospital to give birth, they just flushed it down the pipes. And so sadly enough, that chikanga got lost. And so we have to remember really, really um, carefully about um, why our people did what they did. It's, it's tapu. Our afterbirth, the afterbirth is tapu to our people. And so to have that just flushed out like it was, was worthless was quite a, an insult, really. Insult to our chikanga. But then that's colonisation for you. And when I think of it, I think about the Ukaipo, um, many of the people that I've worked with over the years. I've been involved in this work since about 1985 when I first got involved with working in the field of sexual violence and working together supporting our women who have been, who have been violated as well. The tapu of, of the whare tangata have been violated. And so, and our tamariki, not forgetting them, just the importance of our tamariki and how important that needs to come back to our people. And they need to start thinking really seriously about the tapu of our, our tamaiti, tamariki. When you look at the kupu, you break that kupu tamariki down. Again, it's referring to those of the chief line. Our tamariki were born um, pure. They were born with a lot of their own mana intact. Um, and they were born good. Who said our tamariki are bad? Our tamariki have never been bad. Maybe bad parenting, but as far as our tamariki, no. And so they too come from and ukaipo, and wherever their placenta has gone. Um, I know that for my own great-grandchildren, or grandchildren too, the afterbirth is planted back on our urupa, but with pano at the foot of our pano, So it's not just discarded these days, I think, now a lot of our people are now realising the importance of whenua 
I'm not necessarily talking about the Finua that our people lost or either it was stolen or confiscated through colonization, through the government of the time and so much of our Finua has been um, stripped away from us and so when we talk about our Ukaipo, we have, many of our people don't have much to go back to and so within my work my work has a big part to play in terms of reconnecting Fano, reconnecting individuals back to Fano, back to Papa Papa, the importance of knowing where they belong, where they come from, and so on. And it's no different from non Māori that have shifted to New Zealand and through generations have lived in New Zealand. I often encourage them to trace their linkage back their line, um, line, back to where they originally came from, back to where their tūpuna originally came from, uh, um, and be proud of that, be, be proud, you know, and just because you live in Aotearoa three, four generations, doesn't necessarily mean you have to try and link to the moment that you're living, you're living close to, if that's where your placenta lies, then fine. But if it isn't, then track it back through your whakapapa and be proud of that. I encourage them all the time. As for Māori, as for Dewi Māori, I encourage them to be proud of their connections. Whatever may have happened, don't always blame um, the whole whānau hapu iwi. Maybe an individual who may have offended you. But at the end of the day, just be proud of your connections to the whenua and connections to your ukaipo, connections to knowing who you are and believing in who you are. I mean, that in itself begins your journey towards haora. We refer to te ara toyora a whanau, te ara toyora a hapu, te ara toyora a iwi. So, um, that's just where I want to leave it at this point in terms of understanding a little bit about te ukaipo, tō ukaipo, tō tātou nei ukaipo. Hoi anō, ngā mihi ki a koutou e, e whakarongo mai ana e, e mātakitauki mai ana tēnei kaupapa ara ko te ukaipo. Mauri ora.